Well, war-ish. War? Ish. What do you mean, ish? It's a secret war. I... what? Right now, we are the only ones who know about it. Uh... You see, I am expanding our military, training the troops, strengthening our defenses. So, you're preparing for war? No, we are at war. It, it's just a, a secret. I don't think you fully understand what you're... Why are you declaring war? It is necessary. No, it isn't. Have you even talked to them? Negotiated with them? Luna, I have two arch nemeses, both flanking me and both in control of empires. War is inevitable. It's only a matter of time. It will either happen now or later. And if we have it now, we stand a chance. Are we even prepared for this? Equestria has been at peace for a thousand years. Not to worry. I am hiring the absolute greatest generals in all of Equestria. Really? Who are you getting? Ugh, the teacher is so annoying. How am I supposed to know what the heck multiplication is? Ugh, the academy made so much more sense. Pretend inferiority and encourages arrogance. Simple, but two times eight? Hey, gads, what, what the hell does that even mean? Hey, I'm gonna go to the park right now. Do you guys wanna come? No. General Bloom, sir. Ah, Lieutenant. Good to see you. Lou, Bell, this is my good friend, Lieutenant Tiara. We went to the academy together. Pleased to meet you, sirs. Hi. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, who's your friend there? Oh, this? This is Spooky Spoon, sir. Sup? Spooky Spoon? What a peculiar name. Oh, yes. Well, she's a ghost, sir. <laughs> Ghost? Yeah, I'm dead, but, you know, whatever. But how can you be dead? You're standing right in front of me. Oh, well, watch this. Spooky, do the thing. Gads, <laughs> you, you really are a ghost. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but, you know. How did you die? Um, I don't know. I tripped over a branch or something. I don't really remember. How unfortunate. Hey, it's fine. Death happens to all of us. Well... Except for that goddamn Celestia. Oh, right. Uh, General Bloom, sir. I came to give you a message, sir. Yes? You've been requested to go to Canterlot for important business, sir. Egad, Lieutenant. That sounds incredibly important. Why wasn't that the first thing you told us? Sorry, sir. Come on, Spooky. Great blithering diggings. That girl can be so distracted sometimes. Well, let's see what this important business is then, shall we? Okay, this is the greatest thing that has ever happened to us. I don't know. That cupcake was pretty darn good! I'd like to see those changelings change themselves from being dead mangled corpses! So, uh, we need a plan. We're gonna be fighting two superpowers on two fronts. Any ideas? Um, actually, can I go home? But go home? This is the most important meeting of your life! But I haven't come home from school yet, and Rarity might be worried about me! Oh dear, um, how long was that meeting? About five hours. Egads, our siblings must be worried sick about us! Mine aren't. Why not? I had a horrible traumatic experience as a child, where all my family and friends died in a house fire. Egads, that's quite horrid. This was a childhood experience? You still are a child. Well, this happened yesterday. That sounds horrible! It's okay. It made me who I am. Right. I Let's let's pick this up after school tomorrow, then, eh? And, and remember, don't tell any pony about this. We have to seem like ordinary fillies in an ordinary town. We don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. Oh! Is that why they covered up our cutie marks? Exactly. Just some ordinary blank flanks. Oh, that's why you guys don't have cutie marks. Mine were burnt off in the fire. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Just ever, music is on. You hired children to command your army? It's brilliant. No pony would suspect it. It's insane. Lee, brilliant. I, I can't even comprehend how you think this is a good idea. Oh come on! They're they're all military prodigies. And besides, have I ever been wrong before? Of course you. Ugh! I hate you. Where were you? It's been six hours. I, I was worried sick about you. I was just out playing. 
I'm sorry. Well, tell me next time, okay? Jeez. I don't know what I would do if something would happen to you. Ah, oh, really? Of course. So, how was school? Horrible. Why do I have to go to school anyway? I've already graduated. Yeah, well, you're only eight, and I think that's a bit soon to finish up your education. But the teacher's so strict, and she talks about things beyond my comprehension. Well, I guess it's good that you're going to school then. Ah! Uh... Now, come on, Apple Bloom. I, I only want what's best for you. <sighs> Tell you what. Why don't you come down and help me sell some apples? And afterward, I'll buy you a treat. What do you say? That sounds like a plan. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to buy some apples? <gasps> Back! I can't! Apples, they burn me! Great gads. What was that all about? Oh, that's a doctor. Apples keep them away, you know. I... What? Students! I have an announcement to make! Today we will be going to the library! Oh, oh, okay. Silence! What's under the cloud fortresses? Impenetrable. Running bombs and shells from the sky. You there, Odin student! What? Stop mumbling! Sorry. I zoned out there for a second. Zoned out? That is forbidden! Now, class, today we will be discussing arithmetic! Arithmetic? Arithm arithm what? Student, what is your name? Sweetie Belle! Well, Sweetie Belle, are you an idiot? Uh, uh, no. Then what is your excuse? School didn't teach it. And what school would that be? Um, well, it was the academy. Ordinary of... fillies, remember? Don't blow it. Uh, oh, uh, I mean. Would you speak um... up, child? I, uh, I. Oh my God! A distraction. Who said that? You there, student? How dare you disrupt my class? Disrespect me again, and you will die a horrible death. Wait, what? Death? Silence, orange student. Now. Let's start with a few simple math problems, shall we? Belly pinch! Oh, yeah, um, yes, Miss Charlie? What is six plus two? Oh, jeez, I, uh, you know, uh, what, is it, uh, three? My god, what is wrong with you? Oh, jeez, uh, what, uh, the blue scooloo, what are you doing? Uh, just eating a crayon. That is forbidden! Okay, cool. Sweetie Bell! Uh, uh, yes, Miss Charlie? Six plus two, what is it? Um, is it eight, Miss Charlie? Berry Pinch, do you have a death wish? No. Speak only when you're spoken to. Is the answer four? Aura, what did I just say? To speak only when you're spoken to? Exactly. What part of that did you not get? Is it 12? No, the answer was eight. So I was right. Silence! Oh my god. All right, so we're gonna need informants. Uh, Sweetie Belle, perhaps you can get your little friend uh, to spy for us again. I don't know. She's pretty happy right now, the way she is. I'll see what I can do, though. Good. Now, we need to come up with a plan. I got a plan. Uh, what is it? We just let them come. Give them a couple easy battles, you know? Let them think they're winning. Draw them in closer and closer. That bam! Explosives! Everyone's dead! Confused. Oh my god, okay, stop, right, stop, stop that, stop! Okay, we're not gonna do that. Something a bit less overkill will suffice. Oh, we could, um, trick them and conjure up a spell to make it look like we have more soldiers. Ah, I don't think that'll work. King Sombra has zombie ponies, and they don't have fear. Bummer. Look, we're fighting a war on two fronts, which means they can easily divide and conquer us. Now, the changelings will have to fight through a few territories before they reach us, which takes time and gives us an opportunity. So, this is what I propose. We send in everything, absolutely everything, at Sombra. Take him out of the picture. With the entire Equestrian army, we can wipe him out with ease. Then, when Sombra is defeated, we send everything back down to the south and fight the war against Chrysalis. That's the gist of it. Um, Sounds yeah, pretty sure, awesome. okay. Oh, um, what you gonna call it? I'll call it the Schlieffen Pony Plan. <laughs>